These are three future sinners that are coming to path to nowhere. So let's talk about them and which ones are worth pulling for. So the first is Oak Casket. Yes, it's an interesting name, but a fitting name as many of her enemies will be ending in one of those. Now, she's a reticle class sinner who cannot deal core damage. That may seem like a negative, but don't worry. What she lacks in core damage, she makes up a ton in just straight up damage. If Langley sits over here in the sort of utility core damage reticle centers, then Oak would be over here in the damage focused centers alongside Priscilla and Flora and such. Now, Oak deals a lot of damage very, very fast through primarily her basic attacks and her ultimate, which is quite similar to Labyrinth's ultimate in which she'll teleport to the designated grid, dealing AoE damage, no core damage though, and Oak can have three charges of this ultimate, which is really nice. And something that's important to note is that Oak starts the battle with her energy bar full, yep, full, so she will immediately be able to use three charges of her ultimate straight away. So pretty much, she's really good at burst damage. Man, if only there were a mode in which you had to deal a lot of damage very fast. Oh wait, there is. Yes, she is extremely good in broken frontline and can definitely replace whoever your main physical damage dealer was in the team. She's also really good to clear out those initial enemies that come at the start of the battle as you'll immediately be able to use her ultimate. And so if you're having trouble with the broken frontline mode or are looking for your next best physical damage dealer, then Oak Casket could be your next best sinner. Overall, I'd give her a solid 4 out of 5 stars. So next we have Oh Whoa, no, not Ooh woo, but oh whoa. So yeah, we have Oak Casket. Now oh whoa. I'm not really sure what's going on in the part to know a sinner naming department, but uh something's up. But now oh whoa is an Endura Sinner that can deal core damage. Yes, so finally we have our first Endura Sinner that will be able to deal core damage. So I made a video a bit ago called the worst class of part to nowhere, in which I described why the Endura class isn't that good now and how it could become much better. And I received a lot of comments talking talking about Oh Whoa and how she was pretty much the culmination of all those things that could make the class better as a whole. So Oh Whoa's ultimate will have her smash down, dealing core damage around herself and granting any allies in the range crit rate. So at first glance this may seem a bit awkward as you have to choose between giving the buff or damaging the enemies, especially if you have sinners far away in your backline. But don't worry because one of her passive skills will have her leave a lion behind first time she moves and this lion will be able to both block enemies but also when you use her ultimate the lion will also ult. So if you start with OO near your back line then move her that lion will stay there so you always have a way to buff that back line. Really nice. Her second passive also buffs your allies with a nice attack boost and her exclusive crime brand will give a nice damage boost to any singular character on the map. So overall, a lot of buffs, a way to deal core damage, and the blocking power of the Endura Sinners, uh, yeah, Owo's really good. Definitely a step in the right direction for the Endura class as a whole. And so overall, very, very nice. Another 4 out of 5 stars. So we already have two really good sinners. Surely the next one is not as good as these two, right? Well, you would be wrong because I saved the best for last. Arguably the strongest sinner on this list and a contender for the strongest sinner in the game. And that is Darren. So Darren is part to know his first limited unit. And like other gacha games limited units, she is so, so good. Like really good. She can deal some of the highest damage in the game and it's mainly through her unique mechanic interference. So what is this mechanic? Well, if she does certain things like kill three enemies, deal 12 normal attacks, survive 24 seconds, then she gains an interference stack. And these stacks heavily, heavily increase the damage she can do. So for example, her exclusive crime brand will deal 300% damage, but for each interference stack she has, she'll do another 300% damage, meaning in total for three additional interference stacks, she can do a total of 1200 damage. And this exclusive crime brand can be used three times in the battle, meaning 3600% damage in theory. To put that in perspective, Aerin's ultimate at the highest level with the enemy's cores already broken is 1620% damage. So yeah, Darren's damage is crazy and that's not even including her normal attack which also gets way more damage with these stacks. So overall Darren is crazy good, so much damage and is definitely one of the best sinners on the way. So I think I would give 
give Darren a perfect 5 out of 5 stars, save your Hypercubes, get out your credit card, she is so worth getting. And then if you have some left over and you can get OO or even before that Oak, but definitely, definitely get Darren if you get any of these three sinners on this list. And so who are you looking forward to? Who are you going to summon for? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, remember to... Thank you.